Hi guys, let's calculate break-even units using the formula. So the formula for break-even is fixed cost divided by contribution per unit. So assume our fixed costs are 2000 per month. We've got a selling price per unit of 100 and variable cost per unit of 60. So we can calculate our contribution per unit by saying selling price per unit of 100 less variable cost per unit of 60 and that gives us a contribution per unit of 40. So now our break even would be fixed cost 2000 divided by contribution per unit of 40 equals 50 units. So we need to sell 50 units in order to break even or we need to sell 50 units in order to make zero profit. So now let's look at a different way to calculate the same thing. So we're going to use algebra to calculate the break-even units. Now I know to some of you algebra might sound scary, but take a deep, bre deep breath and just follow, um, follow along. So how do we calculate profit? Profit is simply sales less costs. So sales minus variable costs, minus fixed costs. And we want to calculate the number of units that will give us a zero profit. Because if our profit is zero, we'll break even. So we'll, we'll make profit zero. Now what is sales made up of? Our total sales. Our total sales is made up of number of units sold multiplied by selling price per unit. And then our, our variable cost, our total variable cost, is made up of number of units multiplied by variable cost per unit. And our fixed costs are independent of number of units. So now we've got a, a different formula here. Now we know what our selling price per unit is. That was given 100. So 100 times the number of units. So let's set our number of units equal to x and we want to solve x. That's the number of units sold to break even. So our total sales would be 100x. That's our, our selling price per unit times the number of units. Less our variable costs. So that's 60x. So 60 per unit times the number of units, which is x. Less uh, fixed costs of 2000. And now that becomes 100x minus 60x gives us 40x minus 2000. And then we'll carry over the 2000. It becomes a positive. So we've got 40x equals 2000. And then we can divide by 40 on either side of the equation sign. And x becomes 50 units. So our break-even point is 50 units. And then we'll make a zero profit. So we get the same answer and you can also see there in the formula we said fixed costs divided by contribution per unit. So it's the same as our break-even formula. So now you might be asking, if we get the same answer, why would you ever go through this whole long algebra process if you can just memorize the formula fixed cost divided by contribution per unit? Now there's nothing wrong with memorizing the formula. But you need to understand what you're doing. So what if the question asked, um, or what if the question said you are currently selling a certain amount of units, so they give you the units, but they want to know what should you charge per unit, so the break-even selling price per unit. Then you can't use this break-even formula, or you'll have to change it. So the algebra is a foolproof way to calculate any of the variables. So they could ask you the number of units to break even, the selling price per unit to break even, the variable cost per unit break, to break even, or even um, what should our fixed costs be to break even. And then you can use algebra to solve for x or the missing variable. So the best approach um, is when there's different methods to get to the same answer is to always do them when you're practicing, do all the, me the methods. In this case, do both methods, the formula and the algebra, and see if you get the same answer. If you do not get the same answer, you know there's something that's still not right in your understanding. Um, so 
so yes, it's fine to, to memorize the break-even formula, but then go also go and practice the, the algebra approach. Um, it is just a foolproof way to get any of the missing variables if they change up um, the question.